Okay guys, I'm going to show you how you can reach the link to the cruise registration form. Several of you guys do not know how to reach that uh, link. So here's how you can reach it. You see, I am on my main page, Life with Anthony. And all you have to do is go to, if you're watching any of the video, any video, I'm going to click on just this video right here. Okay. Pause the video. Once you pause the video, underneath the video, scroll down a little bit if you have to, but underneath the video, you'll see more right here. More. Click on more. And here is the link right here. I wrote cruise registration. You see cruise registration right here. And the link is right here. If you click on the link, and here is all the information to the 2026 cruise right here. You can fill out that form and register. It has everything you need, number of travelers, which type room you want. You can pay for your uh, deposit, your deposit. Everything is right there. You even have a space where you can write a special note or something that you would like for uh, Arvella to know. So it's just that easy. Just if you're watching a video, just pause it. Underneath the video, you'll see more click on more and the link will be there the link has been in the description of the past f uh, five videos so that is how you reach the cruise registration link what's up foa squad i'm anthony and welcome to our channel life with anthony i hope you guys are doing well out there happy whatever day i get to post this video for you guys today is a q a it's been a minute since we did our last q a but before i get into the q a i am super super excited to announce that the truck uh, camper company reached out to me and said that my truck camper will be shipped on the 14th of this month and should arrive in wilmington north carolina on the 19th so I am so excited because I can now finally plan when I can leave here and head there. Now, I do plan on getting there the day before uh, the truck camper arrive, but I still have to call the uh, facility in North Carolina to set up an appointment so that they can uh, install it when I get there. So I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing that soon. And I will let you guys know, I am still going to that restaurant that the FOA couple on the cruise uh, suggested to me. Um, I'm going to go to that restaurant the day before. I will give you guys some more about that uh, probably early next week in the next video or so after I make my appointment with the uh, company in North Carolina, excuse me, the facility in North Carolina when I know what day and time my uh, truck camper is going to be installed on the back of my truck. Then, excuse me, then I will let you guys know exactly what time uh, the restaurant is gonna go down. Now for the restaurant, it's, it's not an official meetup. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna be at this restaurant. I'll wait outside, who, uh, you know, whoever shows up. We'll just get a table for that number of people. Hopefully it's not going to be too many people where they can't accommodate us at that particular time. But that's how that's going to work. All right, so let's get into this Q&A now. I'm going to try to read these without my glasses, but we'll see how that goes. All right, the first one is from Lois Cobb 687 And Lois asks, what top three things scares you the most? And what top three things brought you the most joy? living this lifestyle. Well, I really don't have a whole lot of things that scares me about this lifestyle. If I had to think of something like right off, right off the top of my head uh, is, I guess the longevity of uh, 
YouTube, being a part of YouTube, being a YouTube content creator, um, the longevity of it being able to, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is um, how long, how long um, YouTube will be able to support me, you know? Because YouTube can be very fickle. It's solely based on uh, you guys out there continuing to support the community and continuing to support me. And it's like, it's all in your hands. So I guess, you know, that sometimes can be a thought of mine. Like, okay, you know, how long would this last? But um, in terms of joy, um, I think everything about this lifestyle that I've experienced so far has been a joy and a blessing for me. Uh, never would I imagine 10 years ago when I started a YouTube channel that I would be right here uh, where I am. So, you know, every day that I'm able to, to live this lifestyle is a joy and a blessing. All right. The next question is from Beth. 51008. That's Beth 51008. What countries would you like to visit next? Okay, originally, not originally, it still is. Uh, I had two bucket list countries that I really wanted to visit. One was Japan and the other one is Australia. I've already been to Japan and I do have uh, plans on going back to Japan uh, and seeing uh, different parts of um, Japan. And uh, as far as Australia, I would really like to go to Australia in January so that I can check out some of the tennis matches because the Australia Open uh, is the first uh, major tennis match of the year. Um, so I would like to be there during that time of the year. So we know that's not happening in 2025 and we know that's not happening in 2026 because of the 60th birthday cruise. So maybe in 2027, I will make it there however I, um, however i do have uh two new countries that i'm already um booked for for next year uh that i'm going to go to and you'll learn more about that uh next year i guess <laughs> all right the next question is from jk with love 8180 that's jk with love 8180 and jk asks do you miss living in the snow? And my favorite and least thing about being retired. I don't miss the snow. I will say it was fun slash challenging to be in the snow and live in this lifestyle. It is apparently is a video that lots and lots of people are uh, interested in. Those snow videos of mine did pretty well. Um, but I do not miss the snow. I do not miss the cold. Um, I'm hoping that the temperatures in, uh, Baltimore would kind of hold steady where they are and don't get too much colder, uh, for me when I get there. But no, I do not miss the snow at all. Uh, favorite and least things about, uh, being retired. I would say my least favorite thing is, you know, trying to fulfill my days. As you guys know, um, I get antsy, I get bored a little bit, and I'm ready to get on the move. And I think that's the most challenging part for me. Um, I have situated my uh, kind. I have situated my life sort of where it's comfortable now, and it's more comfortable than it was when I started out uh, years ago. So that's gotten better, but. Um, the favorite part, I guess, is just the ability to uh, live my life uh, the way that I would like to. The ability to um, make certain moves whenever I want to make certain moves and everything. Um, and also, I guess, I can't leave this out, you know, the ability to save money. Whereas when I was working in printing and making a certain amount of money, you know, that's a certain amount of money that I had to work with, you know. But um, fortunately now, um, I can do a little more. I can um, live a little more, so to speak. And that's one of the, I guess, advantages or, or 
things that I like. I don't consider myself retired. I'm, I'm still working. I'm just not working a traditional nine to five type of job, but I feel like I'm still working though. The next question comes from MRCDPLSRL. I'm just going to spell it out. I don't think it means anything. I mean, in terms like a word. So MRCDPLSRL ask, do you ever think about getting something bigger? Do you get claustrophobic? Would you recommend buying something big? Um, would I recommend buying something big for someone else? Um, I don't know because it depends on your individual needs and what you want from a space, what you want out of a space. Um, some people want that, some people want this. So it's all about your individual needs when it comes to deciding what size vehicle uh, or trailer or rig to get. Now, do I ever think about, I don't think about getting something bigger, well, slightly bigger. I don't want to say bigger, bigger, because um, sometimes I think that my trailer is a little bit too small to handle the weather down here. Like when those two hurricanes came through, I did have major concerns on whether or not my little trailer was going to survive it or not, especially the last one, Hurricane Milton. Excuse me. Because they talked more about that one than the previous one before that one, Hurricane Helene. So my luckily my trailer survived that one, but you know, who knows in the future future hurricanes that might come through here if my trailer So I do think <coughs> excuse me. So I, I do <coughs> oh my goodness, this, this is ridiculous. <coughs> I do think that in terms of the size and weight of my trailer because my trailer is 17 feet long and it is only like under 2,000 pounds. So, you know, the right gust of wind can take it out. So, if I ever thought about getting something slightly bigger, it's for that reason so that it can give my uh, trailer a little bit more stability. But for now, uh, it survived two hurricanes coming through here. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Um, I'm more or less going to prepare financially. So if I need to, you know, at the spare moment, get something different, I'm able to do that. <laughs> but for now, <clears throat> this one is it's plenty of space for me. I mean, I have everything that I need in here. Uh, everybody can say that they could use a little bit more space, but you know, and I'm no different. I just try to not put a lot of stuff in here that I don't need to have in here. That's why I have my big storage box here on the deck and I have another one over in my screen area so that I don't have to have things inside of my trailer. All right, the next question is from Julie48. Is that an A? 48A, Julie 48A. Uh, any updates on your permanent dentures? Um, there is no update on my uh, dentures. I had these temporary dentures in my mouth now for three years. October the 5th of this year was three years. Um, they're okay now, but I can see some wear and tear on them. Um, eventually, <laughs> I am going to have to get some um, permanent teeth. I just have to pick a time that I'm someplace for a certain period of time, a certain length of time, because I'm always here and there, and I need to just be somewhere, or like here at the campground, be here for like a month, and then I can go and have it done. But I do intend on getting it done. It's just, you know, I will find the time when I'm stationary for like, uh, I'm long enough to get it done. <coughs> All righty, the next one is from Lakina, Lakina Terrell 938. I think I said that right. Lakina Terrell 938. Do you believe... Okay. All right, I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this one. All right, do you believe that you will find your soulmate? Uh, are you looking... 
did I uh did I ever wish I had someone to uh I guess if with being alone. I guess they're saying that well, I can't even read my own hand right now. Did I do you ever wish that you had someone to share it with than being alone? Um first I don't have a problem with being alone. Um I think it's very difficult for me, I guess, to find someone. I'm not even looking for anybody. I'm so over that. I'm re I am really over that. I'm not even putting myself out there. I'm not doing anything to try to find some uh, uh, a partner or relationship or any of that kind of stuff. I think for me at this point in my life and where I am in my life, I think I would be happier just finding like a companion. Maybe someone who is in the same position in life that I'm in. Maybe a retired person who is single and would like someone to maybe travel with and talk on the phone with and or that type of deal without it really being a relationship. So I guess I just prefer uh, that type of person rather than the all the things that are involved in an actual relationship. I'd rather just have a companion right now, you know. Uh, if I if I meet someone, whether it's online, whether it's at a campground, whether it's wherever, and you know, they just would like someone that they 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 want to travel, you know, someone that's like right where I am and a, a solo traveler, or something like that, who occasionally would like someone to travel with. Uh, that's I think that will work for me best. Um, again, I've given up on trying to. Uh, it's just too difficult and, and that whole it'll happen when it happens it will happen when you're not looking for it you know that that cliche is just long past for me i mean i've been hearing people tell me that for the past christ seven eight years now so <clears throat> a companion would be a lot more suitable for me then then in a companion situation they can be anywhere they don't have to be in the same city that I'm in. You know, we can just connect over the phone and say, hey, you want to go on this cruise together? Hey, you want to do this together? Uh, if I'm in their city, uh, we can hang out and have some dinner or go to the movies or something like that. I think I would like that type of situation more than an actual relationship type of situation. All right, the next one is from Stephanie. Would you ever do a out of the country trip um yes i would definitely do an out of the country foa trip because you know i don't want the, uh our trips to be strictly cruises 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 um i will do some trips that we just fly from you fly from whatever city you in to a certain destination and we all stay at the same hotel and I will make an itinerary which you uh, can or cannot or will or will not have to follow just a guideline for us as a group to do things on that trip. So yeah, that's probably going to be the next thing after um, the 2026 cruise. It's going to be a out of the country type of just fly to situation. And a lot of that will be taken off of me and don't need a travel agent. You can just, I can just call and book a hotel, uh, a block of rooms at a hotel, and then everybody will be responsible for getting there. And once everybody is there, we can do things as a group and as an individual. So yes, I do plan on doing that. All right, the next one is from Calvin Jefferson. Three, two, one. What made you decide to be attracted to the same agenda? I mean, agenda. Same gender. What made you decide to be attracted to the same gender? I, I don't think it was a decision. I was. I think it was more of a feeling of attraction. You know, I don't think, you know, as I grew up and was growing up, I said, hey, I think I want to fool around and make it out with men. I don't think it happened that way. Um, I think it was just a feeling inside and I follow that feeling. Um, we are attracted to who we are attracted to. Uh, sometimes there's no defined reason why. 
sometimes it's just the way it is. And I think that's with me. I mean, it's just the way it is. I am attracted to guys and you know, that's it. There's no, no epiphany moment or nothing like that. No, that's, <laughs> it wasn't a decision. You know, it was more or less a feeling of mine. All right, the next one is from Simply Being Me. What's your method of saving? Do you invest? All right, I am going to have a video coming out, probably my next video or an up video upcoming. Uh, you know, I've never talked about my finances on here and how I save and what's my method of saving or if indeed I have a method of saving. But I do plan on making a video and breaking some things down and giving you guys some insight on how I manage my finances. But um, I don't invest. I'm not, you know, I don't have like an IR Roth or any of those things. Um, I just have the money that I have in my account. Okay, the next question is from F Doctor 79 Are you still considering buying land and a tiny home in the future? You know, I thought about that a little bit more, and the more that I think about it, the least or the uh, I don't really want to do that, you know, because I think as I get older, I don't want to be managing land, and I think it's going to be very costly for me to buy land, put something on the land. And I'm thinking if I'm saving money now for my retirement, do I really want to put that money on buying land and on, and then also everything that needs to go on that land to, to live on that land? Or would I rather keep that money in my account and continue to live the way that I am living? Now, I have thought about, okay, is the campground my only option? Uh, right now, I do have this perm site on the campground. You know, whether this is going to be it for me or not, um, I am thinking that it's not going to be it for me. I think once I hit retirement age, I'm going to make another decision and think long and hard about whether or not I want to have a permanent campground site and is this my like forever place to be, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I do like the idea of an RV park. Um, if I'm able to get on an RV park, if I was to move forward in that direction, um, I would be able to purchase something bigger to put on an RV park because hopefully that would be my last place that I would need to be. And hopefully it won't have a lot of restrictions and everything. Um, I don't see myself having a permanent campground spot until, you know, forever, forever. So... I will either be doing a mobile home and I the only thing about land is I wouldn't I couldn't live the way Kathy lives. I couldn't do that. I couldn't live off the grid like that, you know. I need land that has electric uh accessible uh sewage, all those things. So and it's difficult because Arizona is probably the most popular place for people to, you know, live like that and I don't want to live in Arizona so we'll see um right now that's not my main focus my main focus is to you know keep my coins in order and where when it time comes I will be able to make whatever decision I want to make all right the next one is from Lulu uh oh Lulu Shandust Okay, let's just say Lulu, okay? How are you feeling mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually? I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I feel like I am where, where I'm meant to be right now in all of those categories, physically, mentally, uh, spiritually, emotionally. I feel like I'm where I should be right now. Uh, I feel like... 
I don't have the stress of certain things in life uh, because of the way that I am allowed to live. But I feel pretty good. I really do. I, I feel good. I mean, I felt really, really good when I went to the doctors back in June and or July. And, you know, I had a clean bill of health because uh, health is wealth. And so I felt good about that. I feel good about myself because I started doing my little 10 plus exercises since I came back from the cruise. I have not missed a day yet. So I feel good. I feel good. Thanks for asking. All right, Janelle asked, oh, how long does it take you to edit your videos? It does not take me long at all to edit my videos. Um, back in the days when I first started YouTube and I was using the um, GoPro, that was definitely a challenging process because you had to record on your GoPro, download it. First of all, you had to download the GoPro app on your laptop download whatever you record onto the laptop that could take forever and then put it on youtube that too can take forever but now since i have the iphone i think i got the iphone like three years ago i i do everything on my iphone and if i have the right or a good reception a good wi-fi it real i really do my videos less than an hour it takes less than an hour for me to, I mean, ain't no fancy editing over here. So I don't have a lot of chop, chop here, put this together, do this and do that. I don't have a lot. I like to keep my process real simple. You know, every now and then I might try to get a little cute with it or whatever. But for the most part, everything I do in this whole process is very, very simple. Y'all know me. I will pick y'all up and move y'all here in a minute as opposed to cutting and starting all over no come on get on up and let's move over here ain't no fancy editing over here so it really takes me even a video that's like 40 minutes it, it i mean if i'm in the right place the right area where i got 5g 5g with four bars um i can get my videos done in about an hour or less all right all right, happy by nature 219 ask what is your next oh when is your next members live it's been a while it has it's been a long time since i did a live for uh the joint members there i it's been a long time since i did a live period um i don't know what it is about lives they're so easy i don't know why i don't do more of the lives they don't require any editing. Uh, as soon as you finish the live, it's, uh, it's a wrap. It can be uh, published on the channel. I just don't know what it is about lives because I, sh I should be doing a live technically in my head. I should be doing a live at least once a week just to, to be able to talk with you guys. But I don't know what it is that I just don't think to do lives. So I can't answer that. Um, I don't know, because again, lives are just something that I just don't think to be doing. I'm always thinking of what uh, video to make next, not opposed to what live, what when the next time I should do a live or something. All right, the next one is from Miss Kim, 7493X. Have you heard from Ella and Eddie? Yes, I spoke with them via text probably by the time you see this video, maybe two days ago. Yes, I text them and ask them how they're doing and I uh, keep up. I keep up with people. I keep in contact with people. I think I think two days ago I spoke with Benjamin, living my best life, Benjamin, part-time. I spoke with him via text. I spoke with uh, Eddie and Ella via text. I spoke with Julie and her son Guy via text. You know, I try to pick a day where I uh, communicate with all of those folks and so that I can, you know, make sure I keep up with that. But yeah, I spoke with um, Ella and Eddie via text uh, a couple of days ago. All right, the next one is from, oh, I don't even, let me get my glasses on because my little scribble biting. I think it says carry me brown 5404 
Excuse me if I butchered that, because I, I know I did. I'm not even going to read it again. Okay. Do you get tired of driving? <laughs> I do not get tired of driving. I actually love driving. Highway driving. Not city driving, but highway driving. It's relaxed. And you know the weirdest thing about when I have a long trip to drive? I rarely listen to music when I drive. I just like it to be quiet. I think I'm in my head. I'm thinking a lot when I'm driving. And I just enjoy the the quiet of it. You know, it's very relaxing to me. Um, and I don't mind it at all. I, I absolutely love driving. Um, especially now being in the position that I am in where I can take my time and get to where I'm going. I don't have a time frame to be someplace. It makes it more enjoyable for me and I enjoy driving. All my friends know that too. They'd be like, man, you are driving somebody. All right, the next one, and this is the last one, is from Deborah Bass 5984. Deborah Bass 5984. I remember you looking and it was very, okay. Let me see what this says. Okay, basically Deborah is asking what experience I had with the outdoor shower. The outdoor shower, it has the potential to be a good experience. I mean, it's a lot bigger than the shower here in the trailer. Um, but it solely depends on whether it's warm enough outside and my hose, the water inside the hose heats up. Um, and then, you know, you'll get some warm water coming through the, uh, the hose and into out of the uh, base of the uh, shower. But um, I did use it maybe about five or six times and I did enjoy it. It's just something about going out there. I mean, technically speaking, I shouldn't even need the shower itself. Technically, I can just use, I should just be using the shower base with the shower head and just be out in nature showering. Just go out in the back of my uh, trailer and shower. I technically shouldn't need nothing to cover me up or anything like that. And it's probably going to be that way next year when it gets warm again. I am probably just gonna stand that bad boy up and go out there and just take a shower and, you know, and with no cover, you know, that's that's one of the benefits of being on a, an, an all male campground. Who cares if somebody sees you? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is an all male, and most of the campgrounds that I go to are clothing optional. So, you know, I see naked men all the time. So, who cares if someone's walking by while you're outside taking a shower naked? Um, you know, that's the realization of being on this type of campground that you can do that. So that is it for our Q&A for today. I hope that I answered some different questions and gave you guys a little bit more insight on what's going on up in here. Um, I do appreciate you guys. You know that. And before I end today's video, I do want to remind you guys that you have Thursday and Friday, two more days to take advantage of the $125 um, deposit for our 2026 cruise. I will once again, if I remember, put Arvella's phone number up here somewhere. I will also leave the description uh, in the description the uh, registration form. So if you are still considering it, your time is running out and I hope that you will go ahead and book because after Friday, the deposit is going to be $250 per person. So if you're thinking about it and you can do it, I would advise you to do it. Um, our particular cruise now still have a lot of the solo rooms left because our cruise is the following year of when that ship starts sailing next year. So we still have a lot of those. So if you're interested in those and want your own room, um, it is a tiny room. I think it's like 100 square feet or something like that. Um, so 
go ahead, book your cruise, take advantage. I did was hoping that we get to 40 rooms booked by Friday. Um, I'm not sure we are there because last uh, update I got, we were at 22 rooms. Hopefully we are more than that at this time. I have not checked uh, as of recently. So go ahead and book your cruise and let's have a great time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I probably put one more video out before I head up to North Carolina. Now, what's that? That's going to be next year. I mean, next year. That's going to be next week. So that today is Wednesday. Now, I probably put two more videos out because we still have the weekend to go through. So yes, I'll probably put two more videos out before I head to North Carolina to pick up the truck camper, which I'm super, super excited for. Uh, and I'll see you guys a little later.